Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a new Crusader King series. This one covering, well, pretty obviously, Geheimis Noct Warhammer for Crusader Kings 2. I want to give a big shout out to Josh Street once again for helping me get Warhammer up and running. I did look at this mod earlier before, but I couldn't find the, the download link or something, and he was able to... Ch ch explain to me how to get it uh this is a completely blind playthrough of uh Geheimis Noct. i have never played this before uh, what i i know about warhammer but what the what i do know about warhammer is pretty much exclusively from total war warhammer and i know that if you know if you're any kind of warhammer lore expert you you i'll already admit that they've cut out a bunch of stuff and so my understanding of Warhammer is not really that deep. I might know a few characters, but I don't really know any deep lore or history about the game. Which I presume I will learn as I go through this particular series. This series, I don't even know who I'm playing as. That's how blind this series, this series is. All I've gotten so far is look... All I've gotten to is looking at the overall map in the custom game setup and one look at that and I realized holy crap I need to stop what I'm doing and I need to start recording right now because this is too good to pass up just just that, that kind of initial what would you even call that impression I guess or capturing an initial impression of Joblivion that's what I meant to say and I took way too long to say that so we're gonna go right into new game um, I'm not familiar with any of these time frames. All I know is it says choose your region and the time is all kind of the same. So I, I don't know. I mean, I probably could have read this first. The turn of the millennium was a time of great change and upheaval in what was left of the empire. It was heralded in an ominous fashion when the city of Mordheim was destroyed by a warpstone meteor at the stroke of midnight. For over six centuries, the Empire has been in a state of civil war, with each of the claimants to the Imperial throne making war upon who any who would deny their right to rule. <laughs> that sounds like my Elder King's campaign. This infighting would prove to have disastrous consequences as heresy and corruption of all kinds festered and grew in the absence of any unified strength. Huh, very interesting. And we do see that there are some uh, vampires that I am... I'm familiar with with Todd Bringer, not that guy, not her, not her, and Vlad von Karstein, although Vlad does look kind of like a female here, but I guess it's Vlad. Okay. Uh, the realms of chaos. Oh shit! So this is this is all at the same time. It's just characters of different regions, right? Joe is slowly figuring it out. The lands of the distant north are not just cold and savage. Beyond the merely mundane threats, the polar warp gates connect directly to the realm of chaos. Polar warp gates. And let's loose the Empyrean horror that strains at reality. The touch of the warp waxes and wanes with foul vigor, mutating the landscape, empowering the evil, and driving the righteous to madness. The barbaric Kurgan and Hung revel in this twisting energy, seeking the favor of the dark gods of chaos, while the Norskins reave their way south for plunder and glory. Ostensib uh, ostensibly civilized societies are not immune to the touch of chaos either, as the dark gods find ready adherence in all creeds and cultures. One merely has to be desperate or lucky enough to attract their gaze and begin a new life on the path of glory. That's, in, that's quite insane. All right. Um, we've got the Blood of Ancients here, which I'm assuming is over here in what would be called the... Is it, is it the New World? Yeah, this is the New World over here. Ulthuan. Uh, and Ulthuan, the Phoenix King, Belhathor of Safri, decided to send an expedition to the Old World for the first time in centuries. Led by Finib Finibar, Prince of Etain, the expedition established contact and trade with many of the civilized nations they found there. In Cold Nagaroth, Malekith, the Witch King, sent raiders and ambassadors to the four corners of the world, hoping to grow his wealth and influence and sabotage the efforts of the Phoenix King. Meanwhile, High King... Alric of Karaz a uh, Karak, how great a dwarf, ponders on the dwar on the dwarf grudges yet to be settled, and High Priest Astra Astragoth directs the wicked industry of the Chaos Dwarves. Oh shit, they have the Chaos Dwarves too? Yeah, I guess they would. 
damn. This map is huge. From Zar Nagrund, the city of fire and desolation, in the name of Bullfather Hashut. Well, that's a lot of names I don't recognize. Now, I do, I am kind of familiar with Nagash. Yeah, right, because they're in uh, Warhammer Total War II down here in Kemri, or is it up here? Kemri, Kemri, somewhere in here. Grace among all necromancers, Nagash was the father of the. Oh, right, Nagash isn't a character. It's their. It's like the necromantic god or whatever. Nagash was the father of the dark arts of necromancy, though believed to have long been defeated by the man god Sigmar. His influence lingers on in Nehekara, where the undying tomb kings still vie for their ancient domains, often oblivious to their own undeath caused by Nagash's spell of awakening, while those who drank from his elixir of life still plague the world as vampires, the children at night. We have Queen Neferata, which is cool, Usherin Setra the Imperishable, Arcan the Black, and Queen Kalida. Interesting. And then we've got Perilous Beasts. Uh, a study of creatures fair and foul. Greetings, dear reader. To compile this tome, I traveled thousands of miles, learned dozens of languages, fought to save both my life and my soul, lost my left hand and nearly my tongue. Though age now dims my eyes, I can go to Moore's realm content that no finer study of the monsters of the old world has ever has been written, has yet been written. I began this tome as a search for truth, and while I'm certain there is truth in these pages, even I can't tell you exactly where it lies. I have sought to eliminate the threats that face the old world, but only Lord Sigmar can protect us from the machinations of evil and the enemy within. May he guide and watch over us all. And we've got uh, some goblins. We've got a beast lord. Oh my god, it even has descriptions of the leaders. <laughs> wow, that's... um. That's a lot of information. Uh, beast Lord, many beastmen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the beastmen. This is the goblins. This is the... I'm going to guess the lizardmen. And this is going to be probably ogres. Right, ogres. And then we've got war boss Firan. Firan. Right. Okay. So, I don't think it really matters which scenario we pick. I suppose it doesn't matter. So, what, what, uh, what I, so before I pick something, I'll, a little preface about my own preferences for Warhammer. I, my, 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 my favorite factions in Warhammer at the moment would probably be Beastmen and the Skaven. All right. I, I Yes, they're my favorite. I like them the most. The, lots of cool factions and all. Like, I think the High Elves of Ulthuan are cool, and I think Malekith is cool, but I like the Beastman Scaven the most. I also like the Orcs and the Goblins. Um, so I guess you could say I'm into kind of... I'm into to factions that are pretty dang evil, but they're not pure evil like Chaos. I'm not a big fan of Chaos. Um, or the Norskins or anything like that. And, and the Vampire Counts, they're cool, but in my honest opinion, they're kind of over the top and kind of... Uh, I don't know what you'd call it. They're kind of boring in my honest opinion, which is weird to say, Vampire Counts being boring. Right, so I think the way this is going to work is I'm going to try to see if I can't play as a Skaven King or a Skaven Warlord and see what that's like. And if I can't... Because I'm pretty sure right down here is the Skaven Underworld, right where my mouse cursor is. That's the Skaven Underworld, and I believe that I can play there and then inevitably grow and take over and then eventually invade invade the uh, the Overworld, as the Skaven would call it. And if I can't play as them, or if I get defeated, I could try playing as one of the Beastmen, or, uh, I don't know, just experiment, play as one of these guys. I also like the Lizardmen, and uh, not, not, not so much the... The ogre cons, but definitely beastmen, lizardmen, goblins are okay. Uh, 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 the orcs are cool, but I'm gonna pick custom game setup, and I'm gonna hop on down here. Ah, yes, the Under Empire. Yes, it all looks the same to me. It all looks the same. Warping run, chilled run. Oh yes. Warlord Nodwell of the Moors War Clan. Warlord of Gerst. Fucking cool. Let's see. Alright, this is Clan Moors, right? And then this would be Clan Rictus. Rictus High Clan. I am I am very quickly falling in love with this game. 
I'm very quickly falling in love with it. Um, except I can see a little bit of uh, craziness going on here with the ruler designer. I don't... It was kind of difficult figuring out which... Which version of, of uh, Crusader Kings 2 to run with this mod? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's compatible with 2.8-ish. Because, I mean, after all, we're in the game and it's here. So... So pretty much, I'm not sure which version of 2.8 it's compatible with, and I will say I have already had one crash happen to me when I went into the options menu on the main kind of over map. So um, if anyone knows what is the appropriate version of CK2 to use with this mod, please, please let me know so we don't have a, an instance of a unwinnable, unwinnable series. And, and this is also kind of concerning the... Yeah, I don't know what that what the hell that is, but we've got Clan Pestilens, which is uh, oh Arch Plague Lord Nurglich, fucking cool, that is fucking awesome. We've got Clan Eshin, oh yeah, Night Lord Sneak of Clan Eshin, that is fucking cool. I like, I like it, I like it a lot. Um, so. From my understanding of the Scaven, Moors is led by Nodwell. Is Queek here somewhere? Lord Mike, Clan Master? Maybe not. All right, but but Queek Headtaker is from Clan Moors, and then Clan Pestilens, Plague Monk, Plague Monk. Uh, who knows? May, uh, that's where Lord Skrulk from Warhammer comes in, but uh, maybe he is not actually supposed to be in that clan. God, there's a lot of them. Carrion. Spittle, Black Scar, holy shit, Scab, Scrap, Sar, Malkat, Clan Scryer, and they are, is the Suzerain of Clan Ectric, let's look at Clan, is the Suzerain of Treetrick High Clan, where the fuck is Treetrick? Where is Tree Trick? I can't... Maybe I can click on him? Warp Weaver. Arc Volt. Fucking sweet. Seer Lord Crystallic. Okay. So Clan Eshin is led by Night Lord Sneak of the Clan Eshin, and they are the suzerain of... Oh, no, 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 no. Treacherick High Clan is actually a tributary of Clan Eshin. Right, so I'm not going to play as him. I'm going to play as Night Lord Sneak of the Clan Eshin. Fucking sweet. This is going to be kind of hard, because it, it, it's all underground, and oh, it's got the little warp colors and stuff. Oh, that's so dope. All right. Let's see if I can actually play, if it doesn't blow up. Of course, you gotta do all this shit. Um, interracial and conversion. The player won't be able to marry outside of the race, and no one can switch to another race's religion. Canon option. I guess that makes sense. Random mutations. Okay, battlefield duels. I like my duels frequent. Ulthuan depopulation. Provinces of Usher culture in Ulthuan will eventually suffer from depopulation at the default rate. I see. Lustrian growth. The jungles of Lustria will grow at the default rate. Mists of Albion. The mist will be enabled, making Albion and inhabitants unreachable until their there are cleared. I don't know what that means. I know what Albion is, but I don't really know what that has to do. Shattered retreat off. Defensive packs are fine. Dynamic du jour shift. Yep, yep, yep. Historical. Okay, that's fine. Matrilinear marriages. Yes. Diplomatic range on. Uh, regencies. Yes, 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 yes. Dueling. Keep it at default. Putting it on anything else will break the game. And I'm going to save the rules as slot zero. Cool. Let's see if we can actually play. If this doesn't blow up in my face... I will be very, very excited. I'm already very, very excited. And this is a very this is this is a completely surprise series. Like I didn't think I was going to be recording this today. Um, all I knew is I had I had to record four episodes of something, and uh, 
I think I was just going to do another Game of Thrones CK2. All right, well, we're, we're still alive here. We're still alive. It hasn't crashed yet. But yeah, this is a completely surprise playthrough. I had no plans. I had no idea who I was going to play as. But the moment that I heard that you could play as the Scaven, I immediately knew who I wanted to play as. You're playing a Eshin Horned Rat Night Lord. The Scaven are deceitful and warmongering creatures, as much distrustful of others as they are of each other. In a Scaven society, status is everything, and every Scaven is ready to grovel, lie, and betray his way to the top. Scaven tend to live underground in sprawling cities, but it is their dream to ascend and eat and enslave all the things who live on the surface. The Under Empire is a fracti fractious realm, nominally ruled by the Council of Thirteen, presided by the twelve most powerful warlords in the Horned Rat himself. Okay, Horned Rat is a soul. Well, we'll look at that in a second. All right, Nakagaheim. Naka Jesus. So, uh, where's my territory? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, there's a... F un there's They have underground water. Ah, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Glowstone Run. It's like a, it's like a uh, underground interior sea. Right, and Clan Eshin borders, uh, who do we border? Clan Pestilence. Oh, this is kind of hard to read. Let's see, what is that? That is terrain, wasteland, that is water, blood sink run, Horat. What is this? Is this ours? This has got to be mine, right? Vagran. Oh, look at those cool little, those little city tiles. Those are fucking cool. Very cool. Uh, but this is my capital, Pascal. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I should switch my capital to this thing because this doesn't seem like it can, it can be conquered. It's like a, it's sort of like an island, under Empire tunnels, local movement plus two hundred percent. Very cool. Actually, you know, water access might not even make a fucking difference because uh, that might not even make a difference because uh, the scaven go underground, so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So they're not mountains. They're just, like, walls that haven't been carved out yet that they use kind of for structure. The uh, cities are a little weird looking. That they look like human cities, but that is absolutely fine. The rest of this is really freaking awesome. I am Night Lord Sneak. Horned Rat. The Horned Rat is a soul god of the Scaven, for he will tolerate no others. His symbol is an equilateral triangle, and his sacred number is 13. Usually, the Horned Rat is represented as a giant rat with curved horns. Even though he is not allied to the other Chaos Gods, he is undoubtedly one of one of them. The Pillar of Commandments is held his most sacred gift to his children, the Scaven, and candidates to the Council of the Thirteen must pass his judgment by touching it. The Grey Seers are his prophets who preach of the Great Ascendancy, a time where all Scaven will rise to the surface and finally enslave all of its dwellers. Matrilinear marriages are not allowed. Okay. Non-horned rats with low tech have a very low supply limit in horned rat territories. That makes sense. Rulers lose prestige if at war for too l Wait, no, no, no. Rulers lose prestige if at peace for too long. Ah, gotcha. Ah, and then Underlordship. Oh my god, this is a lot. The Scaven are deceitful. Oh, I think I've already read all this. Can trade. Do not get facile attacks. All right. Eshin. Doesn't do anything. Night Lord Sneak is the suzerain. They provide us 40% of their income. Tributary relationship breaks when the suzerain dies. Ah. Very nice. Okay. Clan Eshin. What is de jure? De jure title? No de jure title? Gotcha. Uh, clan Eshin. Uh, high clan of Snex Snexholm. Sneskholm. Kingdom of Ratris. Oh, okay. The Under Empire. Yes. This is what we will strive to get. This is what I want. I want the Under Empire. Fucking cool. We are going to have our work cut out for us, though. We're going to have to conquer Pestilence, uh, Scryer. We're going to have to conquer Scab. Who is this? Who is this faction here? Moors. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of them. Morbidus. 
What, what is this? Clan Mulder. Oh, yeah, Clan Mulder, another one. Gritus. However, we are Clan Eshin, and we, we, we specialize in subterfuge. And that is why he has an intrigue of 30, 33. Holy crap. Jesus, he's paranoid, envious, deceitful, craven. Yep, those all seem to be pretty standard traits. He's a Grey Lord. 13 seats, build, make, oh, build, make. Yeah, that's because that's how the Skaven talk. They, 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 have really weird, they have really weird language like that. 13 seats, build, make, the Great Council of the Under Empire. 12 most powerful and most cunning Skaven sit in it. But only our true master and Lord of Decay sits on the 13th of all time times. Grey Seer Screelin Thern Thurntick. Got it. That's a lot of extra shit you get. He's an assassin. Assassins are most precious, tool precious tools for the Great Council of 13. They kill many stupid Skaven and many, many man things for us. Sneakily and quickly. I like it. He's hardy. He's quick. Black Scaven. The Scaven born of black is a good omen, yes, yes. He'll grow strong and eager to maim, kill many things. These sort of Scaven are good to make storm vermin and assassins. Very cool. This character is a Scaven, Scaven or verminous ratman who wish to conquer the world. Diplomacy minus one, fertility minus 40,000. Okay. Does does that does that mean that the Scaven don't, don't get married? They just... I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't think they can marry. Why can he commit suicide? Oh, because he he lives forever. Yeah, I don't think they can marry. <laughs> I don't I don't think there are are uh, a female female uh, scaven. Or they would be they would be brood mothers though. They'd be brood mothers. All right. Vassals don't really like me. Death master of black chasm. You. Holy shit, where are we going? Oh. Oh, what, um... What is this? Black Chasm. Swift Blade. Wow, that is quite the levy. Ashen Horned Rats. Dark Hole of Glersh. Temple of Kratznik. Huh. So, if we want to go back to... Ah. Now, the old world I'm pretty familiar with. And if I remember correctly, Skaven Blight is here in the Blighted Marshes. Is this Skaven Blight? Korax, under Tobaro. Okay. Is this Skaven Blight? No, Dead Claw. Where the fuck is Skaven Blight? Ah, tricky, tricky. I can't seem to see it. Anyways, it seems one of my vassals actually has massive Oriel. This is in the middle of Bretonia, is it not? Right, so there's the forests with the tree people. And then the kingdom of Bretonia. Led by, yep, King Louis the Young of Bretonia. He is a weird looking guy. Some weird looking characters. Host of Aquitaine. Yeah, what, are, what the fuck are these? Oh, the Red Duke. And then there's Face. Be oh, Face. Be <laughs> He's a fucking orc. Of course he is. Of course he is. Gork and Mork. He's a warband. Alright. I don't think orcs can marry either. I don't see why they would. They pop out of the ground, apparently. I'm just looking around at some of this craziness. Alright, so, uh, yeah, there. <laughs> Right, all right. So massive. This is not owned by anybody. Uh, I guess because it's hills, right? No character, and we get a little sliver here called Black Chasm, which is next to Shalones, Sh Champberg, Champberg, right? Well, I guess we have to hope that we don't get into a war with this guy. Uh, hmm. I'm not really sure how the whole uh, over-empire, under-empire stuff works. I'm not sure about those mechanics yet. I guess, we'll, I guess we will find out together. But I am digging my character right now. What do I want to do? Well, I think first of all... I think first of all, we should be trying to get the kingdom of Rattris. 
Special title holders cannot create or usurp, or usurp equal or higher rank titles. Interesting. Okay. Scrat High Clan. And then that is how you'd get the Kingdom of Rattris. You would need a... Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to go to war with Clan Pestilence. Arch Plague Lord. Lunatic. He's a leper. Vermin Lord. The power of the most holiest horned rats grants us chosen seers the devastating energies of plague and ruin. He's a gray lord, and he's a plague lord. Foolish plague lords don't know the true nature being of the horned rat. Right. Okay. So, Clan Pestilence seems like they're going to be in the way. In the way of uh, uh, Night Lord Sneak's plans. His, his mad plans to become the Emperor of the Under Empire, the Empire, the Emperor Rat, so to speak. All right, new important decisions. I need to recruit a soldier. Invite Steward to court. Recruit a court physician. I, I'm, I'm guessing Scaven have court physicians. You have sent messengers and scouts out in all directions to scour the realm for a skilled physician. Cool. Um, no heir to your dynasty. I don't. If your ruler dies now, the game will end. Yeah, but I don't know... How do you decide an heir? How do you... <laughs> how the hell do you decide? Gutter runner. Yeah. That's kind of... It's kind of crazy. Um, well, I mean, let's, 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 let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we'll search all of my culture. No. My religion. How about my religion group or my culture group? No. Yeah, so there are no females. Uh, or if there are, there... Hmm. I'm not sure how this works. But I don't... I mean, do... Uh, do the scaven die from old age? I don't know. I don't know. Court priest, that's open. We will handle that in a moment. Rulers unmarried. I, I don't think I can marry as a scaven. I think Night Lord Sneak is 386 years old. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the rats ever die. Click an ambition. Win a war. Would like to win a war. Yeah, that'd be good. I'd like to win a war. And let's pick Intrigue. And free from captivity. Hmm. But we're definitely going to pick Intrigue, because Elusive Shadow will help with that a lot. Press de jure claims. I'm not sure how de jure claims work uh, in, in this mod for Pascal. Pascal. Gikaz. Crits. These are all my territory, right? Zrikmat. And Vargran. Okay, Pascal is our capital. Yes. Designated Regent. Okay, Designated Regent is going to be the rat that I trust the most. Or maybe I should be the one who has got the highest age. I don't know. Let's pick Splinter. All right. And the rest of them all have their abilities. I have my own council. We're waiting for our priest. I can press claims. And I have idle council members. Okay. Uh, I don't really trust this guy. Challenge to a duel. What would I what would I even get for doing that? I don't know. What would be the point? Um Maybe it would be best to have some Oh, I mean I could put Haskmarts there. Commander of Clan Eshin. Yes, and we'll have him scheme here in Pascal. Uh let's get well he's a powerful vassal though. Research, economy tech, tech, uh, local tax modifier, go for it. I don't know how much money we're going to be making. 
Um, let's not piss off too many of my most powerful vassals. You want to train some troops here. Or maybe not. Maybe. How many troops do I have? 4,000? I have to look at the actual gover governance type, government type of, uh, because, let's see. Oh, son of a bitch. Laws, law, okay. Can hold all those, pen all those holdings without penalties. That's good. Do not get facile tax from no... Okay, matrilineal marriages are not allowed. Law changes cost prestige if the council is abolished. Rulers can rate infidel neighbors. Okay. Interesting. Well, I'm going to have Gutter Runner Fade Riven go to Clan Pestilens and spread some uh, discontent. Because I think that'll help. He has six vassals. I have seven. Does he have any tributaries? Pax. Oh, underlordship vassal. Yeah, he's got quite a few. Yeah, clan pestilence is quite, quite powerful. Yeah, the the little houses are kind of, kind of. It doesn't. I don't think the the makers really gave too much of a shit about <laughs> about what the houses look like. I mean, I could change that in between episodes, so it'd be uh, you know a bit more like this. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh! I have lots of, lots of allies and shit. Sneeze, sneeze. Oh, okay. Right, so that's the council. Minor titles. I think those are all doled out. My council's here, and they don't like me. Turn time on a little bit to see what happens. We had long rain happen to us. Okay. Uh, I hope that's good. Interesting. We'll go to laws. Oh, very nice. Realm. Vassal war declaration allowed. Sen ah, see, here... Here it is. Okay. The realm is entirely decentralized and can effectively handle many vassals. Alright. Well, what is this? These must be true. Has the law low tribal organization. Ah, okay. Administration is feudal. Hmm. Obligations. Council. Oh, wow, that's a nice change for once. I have control over everything instead of my bloody council. High clan of this. Nah. All right. Now we've got technology. Ooh, we have uh, really high stuff already. Hmm. Okay. Very few vassals. Well, you know why? You know why? Because these guys are, because we're so decentralized, we're pretty much like a confederacy of different, of, of different scaven warlords in a way. So, so just like in Elder Kings, I have essentially become the Colobian Estates. I myself have 4,000 men. But all of my vassals here have got their own thousands of men that they can decide if they want to fight in my wars with me. Oh, yeah. So that means that when we actually wage war with Clan Pestilens, yeah, it's going to be... it's going to be pretty bloody. But you know what? I don't think that is the way Clan Eshin would work. I think Clan Eshin would be a lot more subtle about these types of things. I think Clan Eshin would declare war on people that they know they can capture with relative ease. I think that's the way they would like to do it. But we can see here, we actually have what seems to be Lord Cadrac of the Ferric High Clan. He's got 4,000 men. How many vassals does he have? Mmm... He, he, they do have they do have some troops, they do have some troops. However, oh shit, Black Scaven's good. That's a good thing. He's elite storm vermin. Black of fur fur. They are the Scaven chosen since birth to become the perfect warriors, trained to fight and die for their masters. The storm storm vermin are equipped with the best weapons and armor that the Lords of Decay can bestow upon them. 
that this is true. I've seen them before. I've used the Storm Vermin in battle. They're really, really good. On the battlefields, they have no equal, for they... Oh, oh, oh. For they are trained for unending war war and to crave for the blood of their foes, foes. Yes. Yes, they are. So, I mean, Lord Cadrac is small. He is small. Let's see. Under Lordship Vassal. Under Lordship Vassal. Okay. So, Madlock... I just want to make sure I'm reading this right. I just want to make sure I got this down, if I understand it. So in theory, we would outnumber them, and we could actually swallow these guys up. And it seems like my Cass's belly are Force Vassalization. Lord Cadrect of the Farrakai Clan is weak and in need of protection. They would be better off in your realm by spending a significant amount of prestige. You can go to war to forcibly make them your vassal, as long as they are of a lower tier than you. <laughs> at or below 30 realm size, and where the ruler is either of your religion or culture group. We would lose a thousand prestige. I don't see us using this castus belly for too long, or too soon. Scaven, oh, conquest of magic. Scaven can freely conquer and vassalize counties held by other Scaven with little to no truce and no repercussions. <laughs> okay. All right. That's, uh, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. They, they have, they are very warlike. Established tributary state. Lord Cadrac of the Ferric High Clan is weak, but if they would just pay you tribute in the form of golden soldiers, you can protect them. Through war, you can force any realm that you or your other tributary states border to pay you 20% of their income. Will only break free if the suzerain has a negative prestige is not independent, has less realm size, or declines a defensive call to arms. This type of tributary cannot be called to war. Lord Kadrak will have the opportunity offer a peaceful resolution by agreeing to become the tributary. I see. All right, so I've got quite... All right, so most of the people I have packs with, which I'm guessing are also most of my vassals, maybe? No, 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 no. Shaden Treechurk is a tributary. All right? Garink is actu an actual vassal. He's actually been captured, conquered. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, you... Yeah, 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 you rule the Black Chasm. Yeah, yeah, you rule the Black Chasm. But, so, somebody like you... Yeah, yeah, my vassal. Your stewards. That's another vassal. Your vassal. Your chancellor. Your marshal. And you belong to me. Okay, so we do have allies on this front here. And then we have a very powerful enemy right here. I think this is Storm Maw. Or Storm Paw. Okay. These three territories, plus that blood sink run. I wonder if that if that is an actual like sea. And we do have boats. We do have boats. Okay, so I think expanding this way would probably be best because we have to remember where is the kingdom of Ratris? Okay, the kingdom of Ratris is going to be boom, 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 boom. Special title holders cannot create or usurp equal or higher rank titles. Uh, that's kind of weird. Maybe because I have Clan Eshin? I don't know. Sneak Eshin, sneak. Um, Clan Pestilence, High Clan of Pestric, the Kingdom of Malicity. Oh, wow. Still kind of confused about that. Special title holders cannot create or usurp equal or higher rank titles. I don't know what the fuck that means. I don't know if that's like the game's way of saying I can't make new titles. Like I can't actually establish the Under Empire. That would piss me off. Right, I'm going to be bold here. Finally, 40 minutes in, I'm going to actually turn the time on to see what happens. Dangerous faction. Increased council power. I don't like that. You... 
Increased council power. You. Let's see. What is his... Let's see. His personal skill combat is 5. He's a duelist and he's brave, but he's scaven, of course. My personal combat skill is 4. Right, so he is actually a better duelist than I am. Um, if you imprison him, they'll all hate you for it. I can plot to kill him, which is really, really powerful. But what's going to... I don't understand. If I kill him, I mean, and he kind of likes me too, you'd think that he wouldn't do that. Both Scaven minus 50. I'll spy on Splinter and see if I can't if, learn something about him that will prevent him from continuing to conspire against me. There are no known societies. Okay, then there's the religion. Intrigue. Uh, shut the gates. I can acquire Warpstone. Pay useless money to gain most precious war warp ship and achieve your destiny. What the... What does Warpstone do? Oh, adds Warpstone to my treasury. Recruit a soldier. Invite a steward. Sword of Bloodshed. A sword tinged red for wherever it is swung. Bloodshed is guaranteed. Multiple foes falling in a single deadly... Oh, wow. Arc. Very nice. Interesting. All right. So we're going to have to use Intrigue. Oh, shit. Okay, so that's not good. I am my trusted snoops and sneaks will keep a very close eye on the activities of Gutter Runner Splinter of Srikmat. I really wish they had easier fucking names to pronounce. Your rangers report of an erudite herbalist that resides in a hut in the outskirts of a nearby town. If we pay ten gold to him, he'll join us. Ah, and you are my... What? Okay, I guess there are no <laughs> physicians for the Scaven. Not really surprised, but kind of annoying. Haskmat is no longer Spymaster. He died a natural death. Huh, is that a thing? I didn't think that was a thing. Alright, Gatsritz will put you up here. Uh, my Spymaster, 18. Hmm... Hmm. I don't know if I can really trust that trust that guy. I don't trust him. Obskit. I don't trust him. And then we'll disable. Oops, what am I doing here? So if I wanted to I don't think I can actually kidnap people. That's, that's pretty is that oh, that might be the wrong the wrong mod. I don't think I can actually kidnap people. Which is kind of shit. If we why is he secluding himself in there? Is there an epidemic there now? I don't know. Hmm. Very interesting. Skaven politics. Oh, shit. Rumors of doom. Rumors reach you that in the distant land of Sylvania, a powerful vampire by the name of Vlad von Karstein, Karstein has summoned a massive army undead and makes war on the fragmented empire. Oh, scary. All right. Oh, oh. Ooh, where are they going? Special minor titles. Revoked the Temple of Vitric. All right, well. All right, so I feel like I need to press my advantage. I can't kidnap anybody. Increased power. Independence. You would dare. You would dare, and he rules the Black Crag. Hmm. I see. You know what? I should kill him. I should kill Deathmaster Garnk, because uh, one, he's not that old. And two, he rules over the Black Chasm. And I want the Black Chasm, because that's the only way that we can break out into the rest of the world. Like, that's our access to the surface. I think. I think that's how it works. So I'm actually going to plot to kill him, because I'm also his heir, too. So I'm going to do what Scaven do best. And that is, I'm going to plot to kill one of my vassals. 
I'm not sure if anyone else is going to join me. Never mind, a lot of people are going to join me. And we will indeed kill this guy. Kill this treacherous, treacherous rat. Well, 34% of my men. Okay. Well, while that's going... Oh, wow, I'm getting some incredibly bad lag. Let's go hop on back here. Did we find out anything new about this character? Let's see, his intrigue is 8. So he shouldn't be able to hide anything from me, because my intrigue is so much higher and I have Elusive Shadow. Ah, see, there we go. I found out nothing new and useful about uh, gutter, gutter Runner Splinter. But we can always make things up. And nobody seems to want to join him. So there's a 7% chance finds out that I started the rumors. Go ahead and start the rumors. Cool. And every time we, we accomplish a little goal like that... To the heroic Night Lord Sneak, blessings upon you and your house. We request that you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms against Warp Weaver Arkvolt of Vertkin High Clan. God damn these names. If we accept, we will be part of the treacherous conquest of Zerpak. Apparently, my tributary is declaring war. Attackers, Deathmaster Shadden, Chief Strangler. I love these. I, I mean... The actual uh, racial names are very hard to pronounce sometimes, but I like the little titles. Deathmaster, Chief Strangler, Pawn Leader, Warp Seer, Geshtsin of Defect Town. Um, Warp Weaver, Arc Volt. Where is Arc Volt? Where is Arc Volt? Is this him? No, that's Seer Lord Kritzlik. Magic power. Oh, they do have magic power. So does he... He owns these two territories here. Kingdom of... Tar Tarnish. Kingdom of Tarnish. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'll accept. We go to war. We go to war. Do I want to lead this army myself? I don't think that'd be wise. I'm going to actually forbid myself from leading armies. And we're just going to march down here. I don't know what my vassals are going to do. And frankly, I don't really care. Can I call them to arms? Is that a thing? I don't think it is. All right. Well, I see the independence plot has... Ah, uh, oh, but I want, I want Black Chasm, though. I want Black Chasm. So we need to keep... He's yet able to carry out his duties and tasks. Okay. And it seems that Trichuric is doing well despite being enormously outnumbered. Ooh. What uh oh, okay, so he they get something. They'll conquer they'll conquer Warpweaver Arc Volt, and they'll get his shit, I think. And then that's just more territory that our tributary will have. However, we will need to make sure, we will need to make sure that our tributary does not get too powerful. Really? Yeah, let's let's get somebody more, more fit for the role of command here. If the tributary gets too strong. Nightlord Sneak of Clan Eshin has inherited City of Malkson. Was slain by kinetic in personal con. That is one thing I like about the Scaven underworld is it's very bloody. It's very bloody. There's people are constantly dying and shit. Let's see. Special minor titles. One of my commanders got killed, so we'll throw you there. Where are you guys moving off to? They're going to Cliffac, and we're gonna follow. But like I said, we do need to make sure that um Oh, they've got a lot of boats for 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 Scaven. We need to make sure our tributary doesn't get too much territory, because if they do, then they might try to break free, and we won't be able to stop them. Speaking of which... I'm thinking maybe we should just kill them. <laughs> we should just kill them. Just right off the bat. Maybe. Maybe we will. But first things first, Deathmaster Gar and Casta go. Death Master Garink has to go. Nergish 
yeah, the game is definitely lagging more. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, or... That's right. Crush their forces. Let's see, he's no longer Spymaster, and he died a natural death. Oh, that's quite interesting. Let's see, Olga Skeen. Okay, he's, he seems to be dead too. What the hell? Alright. I need a new spy master. Oh, Garg the Death. I do not trust that guy. <laughs> Mute. Yeah, I'll have Mute be my, my, my spy master. Still no court priest? Still no court priest. Oh, well. Okay. Troops are gonna... I think this is gonna be an easy mop-up. I wanna look at this Chinese Empire... Ah. Oh, right. I thought for a second that was supposed to represent the Horned Rat. I'm guessing that you don't need the Jade Dragon DLC for, for this mod. That's kind of unfortunate. I thought maybe it would be like, open up your diplomacy with the Great Horned Rat or something. Oh, yeah. Kill those vermin. We are the only true vermin. Still haven't noticed anything new about that guy. Hmm. We're just going to keep pursuing him back and forth. What can I build here in Quixic? Oh, it seems like there's already a bunch of shit built. City nest. Breeding pits. Most fortunate and powerful leader. A great deal of precious dumb breeders have been stocked for you here, here. Tame cut eunuchs. Keep good will care of them while you plant new hordes of vicious and most excellent storm vermins in their building. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's how they do it. <laughs> That's how they do it. Great. So I, I, I think I understand now why you wouldn't have like an actual heir. Because the, 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 the scaven breed so prodigiously that, well, you wouldn't have a single heir. You'd probably have ten or, or, or 20 heirs. And as you can imagine, they probably would all kill each other. Uh-oh. Where'd that army come from? What? Uh-oh. Nurkish, you better prepare yourself. Maybe we can get out of here? No? We'll get out on the 5th of Pl Flugzite. Yeah, 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 you're screwed. What if we disband them? Mmm. That's not good. Oh, they didn't have a commander. I mean, if Nurgish can break their morale, yeah, he might actually win this, despite being outnumbered, so. Jesus, how did my tributary get so much... So many infantry? Troops, I mean. Scaven! Mmm. Also, because the Scaven, they, they, how do I, because there's so many of them, I think that's why our armies are starting off so large, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It could easily just be that every faction starts with thousands of troops, just because. What is this? Oh, oh, it's, ooh, what? What? Another 4,000 men. Jesus. Come on. There you go. Now I'm kind of worried about Nurgish. He's He seems to be doing pretty well for himself as a commander. You see, you see this is just... This is why I picked the Scaven. Is like, I've got the mindset down perfectly. I don't trust anybody. I think everybody's out to get, <laughs> out to get me. I don't know. Maybe I should have you having myself fight in these battles. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. My co-conspirator gutter runner Zayort has let me know that that the Deathmaster Garink will die by poisoned wine. That seems to be oddly ornate for a scaven. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Crush those armies. And then with the death of. Uh, I already forgot his name. Like, the names are so complicated. I already forgot who I'm plotting to kill. Oh, wow. Look at uh, Clan Pestulin's army over here. Like, 17,000. That's 
Jesus. Night Lord Sneak of Clan Eshin. Oh, I guess I got caught. Night Lord Sneak of Clan Eshin has inherited High Clan of Black Chasm and other titles from Deathmaster Garnk. Success! Deathmaster is dead. Good, but bad. Is it really that bad? Is it really that bad? I mean, we are, we are scaven after all. Dishonorable. What? I'm dishonorable? Oh, because I'm a no murderer? We're scaven! <laughs> we we all murder each other all the time. Everyone's a murderer. The only thing that should be in a front here is if there's a scaven who isn't a murderer. Jesus, that's gonna it's gonna make life kind of hard for the next fifty years. It seems Deathmaster Garnk might actually be getting the last laugh. Righteous imprisonment. Hold on one second before we do that. My troops overheard gutter runner splinter of Zrikmat as he told shocking lies about his rightful liege. Oh, Zrikmat. Zrikmat, Zrikmat. You done fucked up. Hmm. I don't know. Do I trust anyone else? I don't trust anybody. Why is... Uh... What, what is this? Vrilg? You're new. I don't remember seeing you. Why do you love me? Liege is Grey Lord Breeder. Oh. I see. A breeder. There are no scaven females, only scaven breeders. I see. Liege opinion plus 300. You know what? She actually would make a pretty decent spy master. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's a she. I'm assuming it is. I could be wrong. Yeah. Hmm. That's, uh... Yeah. It's incapable. But, apparently, uh, it is capable. I'm just going to assume it's a she, because she's the breeder, and that's how rats normally breed. Alright, so I've got a breeder, which is great, I guess, as, uh, my spy master. Super. And then we've got this fool who's trying to increase council power, which I definitely don't like. And I will publicly denounce him. Which will... Is that... No, no, no. That's not him. My chancellor, right? No, he's my steward. Yes. Ooh, there's two people. 61%. Is my... Uh, who's the other guy? Zayort of Crits and Splinter of Zrikmat. Reinforcement? I don't know. I need the reinforcement rate, though. Alright. Let's imprison them. I want to see what I can do with them once they're being detained. Oh, shit. My guards failed to capture Gutter Runner Splinter, who has now raised his flag. Where is he? Is this him? Ooh. Attacking Nightlord Sneak of Clan Eshin in revolt against the rule of Nightlord Sneak. He would dare dare. Okay, I thought for a second I was freaking out. I thought maybe Ch Ch Treacherick had actually uh, become independent and we now had to fight an army of 13,000. Turns out we don't have to. We just have to fight an army of 3,000, 4,000 that is being held in the uh, rat hole of Lizkaz. So, shouldn't be a problem. And then I want to see what I can do with... What the fuck is this? Is this guy still not dead yet? Yeah, he's, 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 he's long been dead. That's weird. Why, why, why was that still sticking up there? What can I do? Vicious rumors, no murderer, in dungeon, long reign. He hates me. Uh, I can banish him. I can revoke his title of Clan Crits. Can I... Uh, craft magic item? What the fuck? Uh, execute. As your prisoner, uh, his standing could provoke a reaction from your vassals or the lords of nearby realms. Yeah, but he's a traitor to me. He, he spoke of evil lies. He say evil things.
He says evil, untrue things. And, uh... Uh, Night Lord Sneak doesn't like that, so we're going to... We're gonna kill him. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Was executed. I didn't really get any options of how to execute him. We can call in allies. Maybe. Okay. Ah, now I have a new designated regent. Your courtier. Would it be wrong to make a breeder my regent? I don't think it would be. I don't believe it would be. All right, new commander. That's all done. I'm gonna call in my ally. I'm gonna get a new steward. No court priest, no court priest, unfortunate. Ah, Night Lord Screek has inherited clan of crits from that. Pawn leader Skrit Sticks of Brush was captured in battle is now my prisoner. Okay. What the fuck? Well, I think this would be fitting. We will plot to kill him. Can we ransom him? 25 gold. Yes, we can. Uh, does he hate me? He does. Hmm. Hold on a second. Can I marry this breeder? What? Why did he get the chance to marry that breeder, but I don't? I don't like this. Is it because... I don't know why. Hmm. Curious. Curious indeed. Um... We will keep our forces here. We'll plot to kill... Let's see. We'll plot to kill Gutter Runner Splinter of Zrickmat. And Night Lord Sneak, despite having rebellions, has actually increased his demean size by, by at least three. Look at, look at how many troops I have now. 7,000. So, I, I'm doing something right. I'm doing something right here. I'm not completely oblivious. But, right now, the wars in the rat tunnels continue. And Night Lord Sneak and myself, Joblivion, will do everything in our power to seize the Under Empire. But that will have to be in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Crusader Kings 2 Warhammer. I've been Joblivion. And until next time, see you guys later.